Argonaut Live! This is the main event of the evening! It's me! Hello people, good evening, how are you all? I hope you're doing absolutely fine and dandy. Right, so, today is the eve of Father's Day, and I thought I would welcome Father's Day in to the UK by playing a game that's all about a man dedicated to his family, all about a man who knows the sacrifices you have to make when you are a parent, all about the pure bad luck and hard toil of a businessman with difficulties just trying to get through his life day by day. For all the fathers out there, I am of course talking about the incredible crisis known as fatherhood. <laughs> also known as one of the rare Titus games that's good. fighting force yet. Come on, sing it with me. Pick it up, 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 pick it up. Some spaceship. Here we go with Scar again. I'm letting the uh, the intro run because even with it, this game makes no sense. The story of Tanio, Chapter One. Goodbye, Imperial Development Company. Now we should be all right for content ID. Hopefully. Hopefully. <clears throat> We'll soon find out.
There's been many a time where I felt like I was falling asleep at my desk. Including tonight. I hate working late shift. Ooh. Luckily, my office doesn't make me do this. For everyone's sake. Let's dance. at the right time but it's not quite hidden and that could be emulator it could be lag on my wireless controller <laughs> got the skills to pay the bill son in my funky time Although I gotta ask myself why. Or maybe not. I'm just dropping my bow, yo. Uh oh. Time to go. This is the only guy on the planet that has worse luck than I do. Avoid the iron ball. Run with the X button. When running, use up and down directional buttons to avoid obstacles. Here we go. It hit me. I wasn't going fast enough. Let's try it again. So I've got to run at a fair pace, but not too fair. Okay, so it's timing based, not tap based. Okay, I know for next time. So we just gotta meter out when we run. survived elevator of doom what am I doing what am I doing what am I doing Whew.
Uh oh. I get the feeling I'm going to be tapering this like crazy. Oh no, you've got to do a timing. Come on, get up. So again, this is rhythm and timing, not, not just hammering. It's just getting the timing right. I'm gonna fall to my death. There we go again. Ugh. Okay, that's quite hard. It's all about finding that right rhythm. So let's try it again. Death again. Nah. It's so hard. Okay, one last try. Or maybe not. Maybe that's game over. Come on. I can do better than that. But I'm not going to do that right now because that means going through all the other Welcome levels again. I'm just going to see if we can skip ahead and practice on the other missions. I don't think we can though. Yeah, so it only allows you to do the levels you've done already. So I'll go and play that some more uh, at a later date. And when I've got past there, I'll record it and carry on. So. Let's do a bit of fighting force because I know we can play that on stream quite comfortably. Um, we can probably get through a fair amount of the game, get some good recording going. So let me just adjust this a little bit. Where's fighting force? There it is. We'll go for version 1.2.
Wait, did I just pick the demo by accident? <laughs> I may have accidentally selected a demo. We'll soon find out. Looks like it's all there. Okay, maybe it's just got demos included with this this update. So we've got Alana, we've got Hawk, we've got Mace, and we've got Smasher. But we're gonna go with Hawk because he's the all-round main titular character. He's the one that they want you to pray with first of all. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This was, for a while, in development for the Sega Saturn. The Sega Saturn version never got officially released, but it was originally going to be called something different. It wasn't going to be called Fighting Force. It was going to be called Streets of Rage 4. But of course, Eidos and, uh, and Sega, they kind of got pissy with each other and it never happened. And so Fighting Force came out on the PlayStation, a version came out on the N64. And it didn't actually reach a Sega platform officially until the sequel, Fighting Force 2, which was a completely different style of game. It is a bit like Die Hard, a little bit. It's not as fun as Die Hard in my opinion. Die Hard Arcade ruled. Take you out. you have missed it out. <laughs> no, in all fairness, Die Hard Arcade didn't get a massive shout out because it was on the Sega Saturn and the Arcade and it was on um, the STV board so it didn't look great compared to some of the newer games. But man, if you gave it a shot, you'd never look back. And the sequel was even better in my opinion. And I played that to death on the Dreamcast. Pistol Whipper fool. Oh, we can't. So we'll just punch him in the guts and kick him in the balls. There 
There we go. Finally, I've thrown the gun. That's what I wanted to do ages ago. sluggish than I remember it being. It's not bad though. I think Sega made the right decision by not making this a, a fish in Streets of Rage 4 though. It, it doesn't feel like a Streets of Rage at all. It's far too slow paced. Futurama even on your list. Futurama didn't come out on the PlayStation 1. It was a PS2, Xbox, uh, and GameCube game. Like it. Oh, you got a bat. Give me some of that. Except I don't pick it up while you're attacking me because I get up too slow. Appropriately named Dude. Anyone else want some? Oh, you want some? Okay, here you go. You can have some. But I gotta wait till you get to your predetermined positions on the map first. Yeah, have a fire hydrant. Oh. Or I could ask you a question. I know I've done that joke before, it's a bit hacky. this fire hydrant. Let's carry it round and round. Oh, 
Hey, it's Snakey. Snakey's here, boy, boy, boy. Do you know he's brave? I still can't leave this elevator. How many floors am I going through? You have over 60 PlayStation games. Nice. Yeah, I got a, I got a bit of a substantial collection. At one stage, I had something crazy like 700 PlayStation games, but I sold a lot of them just before I got married. You know, some of the higher valued stuff like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, um, things like that I sold when they were high value. to a fist fight isn't fair punk now I'm gonna shoot your friend in the face with it see I shoot him in the face see you even into gaming or are you in it for the YouTube monies um <laughs> what YouTube monies <laughs> I get very, 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 very little money from YouTube. Trust me, if I was in it for the YouTube monies, I would be broke. Now, I've been a gamer since I was three years old. I got my first ZX Spectrum back then. Um, I remember a lot of games at times forgotten. And I find, I find myself getting increasingly annoyed with things like the angry video game Nerdu. You shit on games for the, you know, the sake of it. <clears throat> so I thought, hey, throw my hat in, throw a bit of my knowledge in. And throw my opinions out there, because nobody lives forever. It's nice to know a bit of me will live on. Even if it is me saying what a heap of shit Tekken is. Oh, look. It's insert bad guy's name here. We could totally chase him at that stage because he was taking forever to get on that helicopter. But no, we politely just stand by and wait. Yeah, YouTube's a lot of money, uh, a lot of work. For not a lot of money you know if, if we're talking numbers i don't know how much you guys think i am from making these videos but it's not very much um a month i'm lucky if i get i don't know 60 pounds i get about 60 to 100 pound a month from doing all my videos that's it so it's not very much at all it's 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 pocket money really. It's it's beer money and it it gives me a bit of cash to buy a new game with every month and that's about it. But what I do do is I take all the money that I earn from YouTube and I reinvest it in making better equipment. So I got my 4K capture card for doing you know uh, current gen and and old gen stuff. That was 400 pound, but I used YouTube money to pay for that. Um, I had some upscale converters so I could actually play my Dreamcast on my TV and record footage from that. I got an EverDrive for my N64 so I could record footage for N64 games um, from all regions. I bought myself a, a UK and a Japanese N64 so I could run everything for videos and recording. So it all goes back into the channel really. I mean, I, I bought this mic and this, this mic stand so that I could do commentary on videos. Yeah, so so basically, I, I don't make a penny. It's all it's all a good learning experience for me. Oh, I've got no health. I, I don't need these 
bitches. Get out of my way. There's three of them. Okay, we're gonna have to stick and move. Yeah, most months I get about, yeah, 60 to 70, I'd say. And you consider each video, even editing a video, can take me 40 hours. So that's not even counting the time it's taken to record, which is, you know, in a case like PlayStation, it's going to be hundreds of hours. I, I worked it out yesterday. For the footage so far, not including today, I've used up 600 gigabytes of, of video for, for just PlayStation alone because I record everything at 4K for the, for the clean video. That eats up a lot of data. Okay, I'm just having a quick Pringle. Mm. Depends what you mean by worth it, start running. I mean, for me, I started making videos as a way to learn video editing. You know, that was my goal. It's a, it's a subject I love, and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to kind of put my take on things out there, so I started to learn. Um, so, in, in that term for me, it's worth it. And it gives me an excuse to play all these old games that nobody really thinks about anymore except for me and a couple of old like-minded people so yeah that's totally worth it if you're in YouTube just for the money then you are never gonna find it worth it you have to generally care about what you do before anybody's really gonna pay attention to you unless you strike it lucky but that was fighting force I'm going to move on to something else. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Now, I think we'll, we'll skip Dino Crisis and leave that for another day, if that's okay. Because it is quite a slow burner. Oh, we've done Hydro Thunder, haven't we? So I can remove that from the list. Let's do some UK exclusives. Yeah. Why not? Let's see what we got. What about the claymation RPG thing? Do you mean um, Skull Monkeys? Medieval's a good game as well. Again, it's a bit of a slow burner. Um, skull monkeys can be doable. But first, it's it's law. I have to play this game. Um, my hands are tied. It's illegal if I don't, so I, I better get it out of the way. Uh, Al, yes it does. There's a Japan-only prequel called Clayman Clayman, also known as the PC game The Neverhood. But this is law. I have to play this first. It's just the way it is, I'm sorry. If I had a choice, I'd still be playing it anyway. Subscribe, lossy lossy. I've lost enough of those as it is. 
Jesus, this, this, these two weeks while doing the live stream of PlayStation, I've lost, well, I've lost a massive amount of subscribers, about 70% of what I would normally get, and, uh, and the views has gone down by nearly half, I don't know why, I know YouTube's doing a, a bit of a, a switch around, but I don't know if it's the live streams or what, but people are, are leaving, man. There was a time when I was getting 10,000 views a, uh, a week, I think it was. No, every 48 hours it was 10,000 views. And that has dropped considerably lately. I guess, I guess I just suck. But it's okay. The people who like me will stay. And the people who don't will go. That is the way of the world. As long as I make the people that like me happy, then it's all good. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that they just don't get what... Basically, that these videos are like... Uh, basically, you know, just behind-the-scenes recording footage. Maybe I should mix it up and have a break from recording PS and do some other stuff as well. Maybe it's just because I'm doing the same system over and over and over at the moment. Perhaps that's what's driving a few people away. Well, I think that's enough IK+. Plus. It's IK+. Plus. Even on the PlayStation, even as a budget game, even though this particular port is terrible, it's still IK+, Plus and it still rules. But that's, that's enough, because basically you can tell the game straight away from, from that first bit. Right, so um, what should we play? Should we do Clayman Clayman, or do we do Skull Monkeys? Have I got Clayman Clayman ready to go? Let me see. Oh, yes. And there's actually one I forgot about. There's Clayman Gun Hockey as well, uh, which, which I had prepared. Let's do claim and gun hockey because I've completely forgotten about this game. And then we'll go claim and claim and, and then we'll do the, the Skull Monkeys game. Fire. Yay. Whoa. It's got three points at once. Son of a bitch. Face, didn't it, Mr. Opposition? Whoa, shit, 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 shit. Oh, crap. I beat him.
Yeah, so this is like the, the old board game Crossfire. Which I don't know if you had it in America, but over here in the UK, basically it was a board with two guns in it and you fired little metal balls at each other and the idea was to get as many of your balls over into the opposition's goal as you could. PSX had so many games you can't count them all. There's, there's a fair few, there's about 1,800. I know there's over 1,820 for certain. What? And this is one of the ones that's not so good. And I am kicking ass at it. so many for the PlayStation. I know I've, I haven't seen them all. Which is part of why my top list is open to suggestions, you know? Because they may very well be a game I've not played before, especially the Japanese stuff. I don't think anybody can say that they've played every Japanese game out there and know what's good and what's cooking. Actually getting beat. <clears throat> oh, get in there. It's going to be a tie game. Okay, well, I think that's enough of that. We will get claim and claim and ready. So claim and gun hockey is not going to win any awards. But this did, if I remember right. Disc is a bit skippy.
depending on how much time we have left tonight, yeah, we might be able to play Korea Crisis later. First puzzle solved, easy peasy. Gotta love the animation on this. It's just beautiful. Such a shame that my disc is skipping now. you the other way and ah, there we go that's how you push him the other way there you go chomp on that buddy no not that Go down these stairs. What's down here? I haven't played this in so long, I've totally forgotten the puzzles. Looks like a toilet in the middle of nowhere. says so up we go I don't know why they didn't bring this to England because or, or the US because it was already done you know there's not a great deal of English there and it was already translated I don't get it But the art direction is just fantastic. Which way are we going? Loading times are a bit rough.
Such a shame that my disc is skipping as well. Okay, I have no idea what I'm making there, so I'm just going to leave. Disc is wrecked. Let's go this way. So what am I doing here? Have I got to make him explosive? Is that what I'm doing? Well, whatever it was, I did something. him. Ah, there's something up in the corner. <clears throat> okay, it won't let me reach it. Maybe I'll just have to go to the next room. Ooh, I'm in space. Try going back in. Try getting close to him. Try his legs. TNT body. So I can't manipulate him in any way. But there is something there that I can reach or can't quite reach. And that's the menu again. You know what, I'm going to move forward. Perhaps there's a puzzle later on that I need. So let's just go to the moon. Gotta love the presentation of this. How cool does this look, really? What the hell is that? It's highlighting something in green. What's this? music box. Jump. 
Jack in the box. Jack in the box has popped, don't they? Perhaps I can get him to get the whatever it was from that, that area. Or maybe not. Time to go. Inside, aren't you? Yes, you are. Maybe get him to eat the TNT guy? Maybe? No, why'd you close the door? You'd have to. Come on. Eat the TNT guy, Dominic. Yes, we played. Uh, we played both of those on the Mortal Kombat trilogy day. We played the uh, every Mortal Kombat game in one day. Oh look, there we go. Look, it dropped the match. Perfect. Strike a pose. And let's move him forward, shall we? There we go. Let's give him something to feast on. Give him a bad case of heartburn. some of this fruit, whatever it is. How is that? It's a button. Uh, no, I want to push the button, thank you. What the hell is that? Is that water or vomit? Or whatever it is, it's not interactive. So let's leave while it's still gushing out water. And let's go back to this little icon, whatever that this may be. Hello? Ah, we 
can go through this giant gaping hole. Let's hop on. The loading times are a bit cumbersome. And having to click my way around this is a bit cumbersome. Get it. leave no let's leave <laughs> come on there we go round and round we go And up into the other screen. Well, on that dead end, I think we've filmed enough of this particular game, the Clayman Clayman, also known as Neverhood Chronicles. So let's move on over to the sequel, which is a much more run of the mill game to a certain degree. And it's one of my favorite games of this genre on the PlayStation. And it is a game called Skull Monkeys. And it's a rather fabulous platform game. Now, I'm not a big fan of platformers. They have to be something really special to grab my interest. This was something special. This grabbed my interest. Bad man. Yes, guy. Al, I think you're talking about Heart of Darkness. That was okay. Planet Idznak. <laughs> I always thought Heart of Darkness was overrated, but this, vastly underrated. Great game. <laughs> no, Dominic, I haven't played Earthworm Jim 2 yet. We played Capcom vs and K, but we haven't played Guilty Gear yet. There we go. Look, Ma, I'm a skull monkey. In fact, I am Claw Monkey, the king of all skull monkeys. <laughs> Clog Monkey will never get away with this. My people are far too smart to accept him as leader. <laughs> I love this game. First, we make an evil engine. We make an evil engine. Evil engine number nine. To destroy the neighborhood. <laughs> to destroy the neighborhood. Now let's get to work. <laughs> now let's get to work. 
By the way, this game has the greatest title music ever in any game in history. You can all sing along when it comes. But we gotta let the animations play in full because this is just awesome. Oh, could you imagine an earthworm gym like this? My brain couldn't take it. I do, this song's worth it. Awesome or what? But that's not the song I'm actually thinking about. This is the song I'm thinking about. Sing along. What a great intro song. Really hummable. It's awesome. But enough about that. Let's get the game rolling. Maybe if we do a top PlayStation music of all time, this will show up again. <clears throat> Here we go. That's lucky. Has the death of retail changed the way I buy video games? Yeah, instead of going into a local store, I go to Amazon and buy everything through Amazon. I still buy physical copies, but I just buy them and get them delivered to my door. I keep doing that. I've really 
this game has got such tight controls that I'm trying to compensate for inertia that isn't there. I don't miss hobby shops. Well, I used to work in one, so it's a bit different for me. I used to work in a, in a mom and pop video game store when the Dreamcast came out. Um, so, so I was there, I saw the ins and outs of the industry. Um, and yeah, I do miss that kind of time, but things move on. You know, I'm, I'm quite happy in being fairly educated in what I want to buy. So I just go to Amazon and, and buy it. And with Amazon Prime, I get a discount and um, yeah, it just gets delivered to my door. But for those who don't know what they're after and they're looking for recommendations, yeah, mom and pop stores will be sorely missed for those kind of people. So life been shipped into Instagram moments. Yeah, to a degree. See, the thing is, where I live, most of the hobbyist shops weren't very good anyway. There was nothing that compared to mine when when we had ours. You know, um, even the big retail stores couldn't compete, and our games were cheap, but. People just didn't come anymore, and my, you know, you, you can't keep them running when nobody's coming, and they prefer to go to somewhere like HMV or or some, one of these mass market shops. Even though the price might be ten pound cheaper, they have more stock, they have more things available, they can afford to purchase more, so people go there, uh, which is lame, but it's the way the world goes. They had no specialist knowledge like we did. We, we played every game that came in the shop so that we knew what we were doing when we were recommending stuff to people. We'd say, no, don't buy this game. It blows goats. Buy this one instead. And when people gain your trust, you gain repeat custom. Uh, but that kind of fell by the wayside because people started just asking us for advice and then going to buy it from one of those other chains or other retail stores, and it really sucked. Awesome music again. Fantastic presentation this game has. <laughs> Mori, Mori. 
I don't mind buying a subscription for a free game, but I won't buy a subscription for a game I've paid money for. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that this video game just had a musical number for beans, beans, the magical fruit, the more you eat, the more you take. two of those in my time. <laughs> See, and now it becomes a video game mechanic. I can fart out clones. bonus round up there. How do I get to it? Do I like Ninja Warriors and the remake? I like the remake. I wasn't a big fan of the original. Um, the Mega CD one was pretty good though, to be fair. Ah, blew up. Beans, beans, magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you do. Oh, what? I was on top of that. That's not fair. Okay, I'm down to my last life. Getting old sucks. I shouldn't have gone back for it. That was a mistake. Let's continue. I was on top of that. I'm pretty sure. very tight on the old collision detection. Again, I, I, I think that's a bit unfair. I was on that for sure. Yeah, the triple screen tech was, was quite impressive back in the day.
uh, probably will never happen. And if it did, it wouldn't live up to the hype, unfortunately. Besides, the original Xbox is kind of a an Xbox, a uh, Dreamcast too. Pretty much took all the ideology of Dreamcast and improved it. Powerful as an Xbox to a Dreamcast. Well, quite, quite a bit, quite a bit. room. Now it's time for the boss. I'm gonna fight out a clone. Ah, oh, I died. I'm gonna fight out another one. I'm gonna fight out one more. Death by flatulence. This game just makes me so happy. It really does. It makes me feel good every time I play it. Pretty tough later on as well. No, the um, it's 
So let me read that in properly in a second about that comment about the Wii. Let's end Skull Monkeys there because it's an awesome game and I could play it all night long. <laughs> and we have another game to go to, didn't we? We had a request for one. I've forgotten what it was because we've been playing that for quite a bit. Uh, what was it? 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 Um, oh, Courier Crisis. That was right. And as this loads, I'll look at that question. Now, needless to say, Skull Monkeys will absolutely be in the top PlayStation list, and it's going to be fairly high up because I adore that game. I haven't done 10K yet, but let's do Courier Crisis. Right, so looking at some of the properly developed third party games for GameCube, I'm a bit shocked how shitty some of the graphics were on the Wii. Seems third parties didn't put any effort in it at all. Well, why put any effort in when you can port your PS2 games directly to it? You know, little effort, you just put your PS2 libraries across. Job done. Now, when you actually put some effort into the Wii, it can produce some decent results. However, you know, it's still because the machine was literally shit. Um, your good game is going to get drowned in a sea of garbage. So, so why really bother? You know, for every, um, I don't know, let's say for every Super Mario Galaxy, there are a million Ninja Bread Mans. Well, not a million, but at least 20. I'd say at least 20 for every good game on the play, on the, on the Wii. There's 20 awful ones. The Wii is one of my biggest disappointments ever, along with the Wii U. Um, there are some great games for it, like uh, like Mad World, for example. Mad World's phenomenal. Okay, how do I even get moving on this? Right. Okay, square button moves. Oh, it seems like this game's corrupted a bit as well. Okay, maybe it's the emu. I'm going to swap emu emus just a moment. Maybe it's the emulator problem, not the not the actual game. So let's try the other MU. The other decent MU, that is. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles I won't be doing on stream. All the RPGs I won't be doing because, let's face it, you're spending four hours just getting going, and that's an entire stream. So I'm just going to record those offline. I'm going to hammer them out when the wife goes away. And just uh, yeah, just play through some of the some of the games that take a bit longer to go into and aren't really suitable for showing on stream. Um, Driver Two and Driver, I have yet to do. Um, not entirely sure whether Driver Two will make the list. Oh, Zeno Blade. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm getting confused with Xeno Gears. I thought you were asking for me to play Xeno Gears. Um, but yeah, Xeno Blade Chronicles is great on the Wii. And then you've got things like Dead Rising Chop Till You Drop. And even though Res Evil and Dead, Dead Rising are amazing games on other systems, they suck on the Wii. Well, Resident Evil didn't suck, it was just disappointing.
Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, what other great games are good on the Wii? Light gun games were good on the Wii. not aged well. Yeah, nothing on the Wii looked better than what was on the original Xbox. The original Xbox was still more powerful than the Wii. <coughs> and games like Half-Life 2, Doom 3 showed that. to lose a subscriber if you keep playing that game. Well. We'll do one more level of this, but this is terrible. I vaguely remember this as being good. My memory has served me incorrectly. be a way to break. This is not crazy taxi. I am not having a good time right now. Let's do one level, hopefully there's some semblance of actual game in there. For this one, let's try Civic Center level 2. And then we'll call it a day for Career Crisis. Maybe it was Radical Bikers that I thought was good back in the day. Maybe we should check that out. Kitty, out my way. Hey, get your keister over here! Finally! Ah! You stink! Yeah, I stink, so kiss my ass. Over here. I got it! At least the screams are satisfying. Oh, you better stop before you hurt yourself. 
Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, this this is not good. Okay, maybe it was radical bikers then that was good. However, that was not. Maybe this was the one. So how does House of the Dead 3 compare between Wii and Xbox versions? It ran on the Xbox arcade board, so I'm very interested in how it'll look in Wii in comparison. Well, the Wii ran at a lower resolution, but other than that, pretty much exactly the same. There was no notable slowdown on the Wii. Of course, the benefit of the Wii one is you had the, the remote to shoot your gun with. Um, the Xbox One supported the Mad Cat's light gun, which I had. It was a horrific lime green colour for some reason, but, uh, but that's just the way it was. Great game on either system though. So this is Radical Bikers. Best console for light gun games? Yeah, probably the Wii. It's got a great selection of arcade games. It's got a great selection of homebrew. Well, not homebrew. That's wrong. Um, home, home console versions, not just arcade ports. Uh, things like Dead Space Extraction. Stuff like that. Radical bikers. Um, and of course, you did have homebrew games on the Wii. Which help you can play Super Scope games with the with the Wii remote stuff like that. Margherita, capricciosa. Margherita, capricciosa. Capricciosa. Now I don't know why I've got no audio, yeah! but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Is there silent scope for it? I can't remember if there's a silent scope. But there was on the oh, Xbox, there was a trilogy for Xbox, and that was really good. Yeah, this I remember as being quite fun. timers okay we can try it again let's start with an easy Did I get that time? No, I missed it again. Ah! Must have just missed it. Did I? Oh, carry on. Right, okay. I'm the pizza man. Oh, I missed the shortcut. Oh, 
Yeah, this is more fun than Korea Crisis. Very arcadey. That time limit's very tight, though. I have to go look at videos of Wii shooters. Any suggestions before I go? LA Machine Guns. Um, that was the only home port of that game. That's worth checking out. Uh, Dead Space Extraction. House of the Dead. Uh, Ghost Squad. Of course, it doesn't have Virtua Cop 3 like the Xbox had, but uh, there were some great light gun games on the on the Wii. Oh, uh, Resident Evil: The Umbrella Chronicles was another one. Yeah, lots. Check them out. I'm losing races, but I'm still making my way through. Okay, this is cheesy fun. Get it? Cheesy pizzas. <laughs> Does the Wii Mote do for better precision than light guns in general? Um, no. Nah. Now, even with the Motion Plus, a light gun's more accurate, but it's not far off. It's good enough. Oh, that's me screwed. So dead. Still made it. Laid it out. Well, that was Radical Bikers, ladies and gentlemen, and that is me done for the evening, I think. I think that's a good point to end. So, we've done everyone's suggestions that we could do, apart from Dino Crisis, because that's a bit long. Um, yeah, I think we've covered everything for one day. Driver 1 and 2, we can do another time. But until that other time comes, I hope you all have a good evening. I'm going to go to bed. It's Father's Day now. So happy Father's Day if you're a father. Um, I'm going to go rest up because my kids will probably be waking me up in about four hours. So, uh, yeah, until next time. Bye.